Hey guys, back with another Maple Story video here. This time, I figured it was time to do a little bit of a rebalance or an update on the Paladin Paladin Guide. Post V4, post rebalance, just talk about everything that a Paladin player needs to know and answer some questions that I've been getting quite often since this new update. So I want to first start off with training because training has changed for me a bit. And I wanted to help um, people understand the priority, right? So the main skills here are Divine Charge and our V4. And the reason why before, right, I used to have Heaven's Hammer here. Maybe some had Smite Shield. But I found out that in my perma, in my specific situation, now this isn't for everybody, but... In my perma, we are we have a ton of great mobbers, so I'm actually not keeping up my hammer stacks. So and even now, I sometimes lose my hammers of righteousness stacks because I literally just don't attack enough. Like it's about to fall off here if I don't attack something. I'm walking around doing absolutely nothing, and this is a prime example of me dropping my hammers right there so now i have to restart attacking again so i i just don't hit a lot in this party so all the extra skills that i had like heaven's hammer and smite shield were just in the way of me maintaining my hammers which i just obviously lost right there and that is arguably my best mobbing skill with my v4 because I can just walk around, not attack anything, and kill stuff. And that's what I literally what I do in this perma. You can see I don't kill much. So my priority was to make sure that I had my hammers up all the time. And this gave me the best opportunity. All the other stuff just made it impossible for me to keep these big hammers up. And now that the cooldown is 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for this V2. At max, it's 30 seconds on. 30 seconds off and it hits even harder I need to keep these up as much as possible and give myself the best chance and then obviously our v4 is very very good need to have it but this is my situation right if you can keep hammers up while you can do heaven's hammer and you can do smite shield charge whatever it is do it but with this perma I just cannot and so that was a great example of why I only use those two skills and so in that case, that is why I do not use Heaven's Hammer cooldown cutter, Heaven's Hammer reinforce. I don't use any Heaven's Hammer hypers. I just use the Divine Charge, Extra Charge, and reinforced. And so if you are using Heaven's Hammer and it is still kind of affecting your... keeping your Hammers of Righteousness up, I even tried to test before Heaven's Hammer without the cooldown cutter because that was also getting in the way of me Heaven's Hammering a lot. And I would, you know, sounds good in theory, but in my situation, it, I wasn't able to keep my buff up. So until this buff maybe gets to 60 seconds or higher, with it only being 30 seconds, it's just not worth it for me. And that is why, as you can see, my I did the things the way that I did. And so my hypers haven't changed for bossing. Got to have the three blast ones. And then now I changed the divine charge. But this may not be for everyone, everyone's perma. I mean, we have... Wind Archers, Insane, Night Walker, Ice Lightning Mage, Night Lords, all very good, and an attacking bishop when they're in the party. So kills are hard to come by, and everyone is one-shotting everything. And you can just see on the screen, I'm doing nothing. Just standing around, hoping and praying to keep my hammers up. So that is for training. So now we're going to get into nodes right everyone's asking about my nodes um, nothing's really changed to be honest you just have to add your two v4 your mighty molnir and then your maple world goddess blessing you got to have this buff this buff and people are asking you know should i replace sharp eyes should i replace my decent skills absolutely right this skill is insane 33 final damage 14 and that's a buff i mean 
I would take that any day of the week over any of these other skills. So yeah, I mean, it, it's a it's a V skill, right? Just think about it like that. It should be priority over decent skills. Decent skills are universal, common. This is very, this is just better, right? So I would definitely take that. And these are my, these haven't changed that much. The main priority still is maxing Final Attack, Divine Judgment, Divine Mark, and Blast. If you can get them into two slots, that's great. But if not, just use a filler to get to 60. You got to do it. And so then we're going to get into, I'm just going to show you my bossing preset. And so this is the most common question I get from Paladins. And so I'm going to show you right here my skill wheel. And I'm going to show you my presets. And so one of the things that I've been playing around with a lot, a lot of questions is, do I need to preset these two skills together? Do I keep them on separate skills? Should I just, what should I do, right? And what I found was that there's two options that I prefer, but there's one that um, is better for bossing, in my opinion. And so you'll see I blast here. This, this one is just straight blast. And if you're wondering why do I have a preset here, it's because when I switch to page two, I can put the actual blast skill here. So when I'm flipping to page two, I can just continue to blast, use my blast skill and not miss anything, right? And so you can see here, I prioritized, I know some people put these two iframes together. I just don't want to misclick it and use both of them at the same time. So it forced me to put my V2, my V3, sorry, on this second page, which is totally okay. Um, I've gotten comfortable with it. And since it's only up every two minutes and it's not a sort of on-demand skill that I need like to reactionary, like my airframe here, iframe here, iframe here, I've got comfortable using it, switching to page two and using hold this hold down skill and then flipping back to page one. Now, the reason why I have all these skills here this is mainly for like Guild Dungeon, where you'll if you, I'll post Guild Dungeon videos later, but I like to have them at, on different skills instead of on one preset. Uh, I do not have that as an option, but I think I'm going to have to actually for Culvert. So I'll have to add something. But as for now, these are my presets, right? I got to have one for here, one with Noble Demand, if I need to use Noble Demand, and one free. So obviously this is what works for me in my situation. And so in typical bossing, I would actually do this, right? And the reason why I do this is because I tend to, especially in bossing when there's a lot going on, if I just have the V4 skill there on its own by itself, I may be spamming this button and then realize I don't have any charges and I'm not doing any damage. I'm just standing there using blast and especially for people that don't have their graphics up, they may, you know, they won't be able to see the big, huge blast animation, right? So like I can actually see like the huge blast animation, right? So like if I were to spam my Majorn, Jon, Jon there, I'm just calling it before. I'm going to butcher that. Like if I'm spamming it here, my G button, like I could just stand there not doing anything, right? And it gets awkward and you miss, and that happens way too much. I already know I'm going to do it a lot. And so I make sure that I just have my preset there so that if I just spam it, hold down the skill even now with a new quality of life change, I'll still be doing blast attacks, right? So I'm not going to be like missing any lines and missing any damage. Basically, the goal is to minimize the room for error, essentially is what I did. So I know everyone's going to have their own process like if you want to put it on a preset that's totally fine i don't think for my play style like just using this by itself like just having a preset with v4 and blast is the best for me in my situation because i just don't like i like to sort of time out my burst right v4 is technically supposed to be a burst cooldown so my burst if i were to use this i would go it would be it would use the v4 so like if you see right here, like if I were to spam this G button, I would go, it would go, it would actually go hammers, blast, hammers, blast, hammers, blast. 
so like the, and then blast away right so that is there's a blast in between there which is totally okay like i even thought about possibly another option could be to use like three hammers here so that there's no awkward like blast in between and some people feel that's clunky i've gotten used to it but Maybe this is something you want to do if you're trying to do three straight in a row. So it's back to back to back and then just blast. And then when these are on cooldown, it'll just blast again. So that may be an option too. Maybe something I'll play around with. But as of right now, either way, I ha I like to have a preset with a separate preset. right? So two presets with blast. And then on this page, the blast go on the second wheel. And then... The reason why it's a little clunky is because there is actually a 0.5 second reuse cooldown. A little little clunky. Again, that is why I like to have the blast in between just to maximize my blast attacks. I noticed when testing it didn't really make that big of a difference. But again, preference, playstyle, comfortability. It's I don't want people to think that this is the tried and true because it's sort of what works best for you. Right, it kind of what you want to feel, and what you want to do to basically not have to think about it is the end goal. Just muscle memory, set it and forget it. Once you get used to it, once you get comfortable with it, and I highly recommend testing in fog training, getting used to this, getting used to sort of not missing out on any damage or misclicking things like that. So each their own, and that is my presets my skill wheel for training in general all right and then i'm just going to finish quickly with some content and how i do my burst at the start and so this is specifically for guild dungeon for guild honor battle and maybe even bossing if you can fit it in but so the main thing is get your hammers up right fair trade and then i'm actually going to cast my three B4, Molnir, Hammers, Molnir, yikes. So it instantly procs, all three. And as long as you have Divine Echo up before it procs, before they attack, it's going to do three huge casts in one all at once. So you saw that I kind of burst it at the, front, at the top. And now it's just about using your V3 and then... Specifically in guild content, you don't have to hold or stack up your V3s. You can use them however you want. And in this video, I ended up not using my V4 and Blast preset. Just so I can get those three charges quicker. And so you can see here, I just want to make sure that I did not misclick v4 and make sure i blast uptime and did pretty well ended up losing because this lost to a dual blade actually very strong very strong now but that was as good as it gets for me maybe i could have got a few more blast attacks in but yeah guild honor battle i don't know what it's like in your guys server but it is pretty competitive out there seals are not at the top anymore sadly it's going to be a lot of thieves and whoever has the most cap to be honest paladins are going to be very good and then guild dungeon so there's a little bit of a trick to this one but for the most part it's the same thing so we'll get into it and i feel like this is the best run that i could have done here so again casting these three v4 charges it is a 10 second duration so i do can use it pretty early and then i try to use my v4s or my proc divine echo at the very last second and so right there i also tried to use my v3 time it perfectly so that that little that little delay when v3 comes out i maximize it and then now i'm actually holding my v4 hammers for the perfect time i'm trying to get these mobs to get killed so that the v4 does not fly towards them and that is kind of a little bit of a luck at the start but there I was able to kill them with weapon aura and then I could free cast my V4s without losing lines to it jumping to 
those little mobs on the map. So that is just a little tip, little min-max thing here and there. If you can avoid getting the V4 hammers to, you know, if you can keep them on the boss, obviously that's more lines, and that allowed me to get just a little bit more damage here and there. And then now you can see at the end I was able to get a last cast of V4 and 3.6 trillion. Pretty good. 48 mil cap. We'll take it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.